So what I've got here is a uh, Hinglong Airsoft BB shooter. And I believe it's, it goes into a uh, remote control tank. I bought it on the internet just out of curiosity to see uh, how it worked. And maybe I could use it for something. Uh, this was about $8. And it, getting it in, I noticed uh, it has uh, one connector here that goes to a motor. And this other connector uh, goes to this limit switch here. And I see the switch is normally open. And when the, there's a big spring in there, and when it's drawn back, it... it completes a contact and I don't know what that does. It might send a signal to make a noise or something like that on the tank. But I can see there's a there's a big spring down in there and that's the one that's I'm assuming is propelling the uh, the B the airsoft. And from what I can see it looks like the BB like here's an airsoft here, BB. I think it would feed in like that. It looks like that's a feed for it. And I believe that's where the, the barrel would would be mounted. And I can see right here the spring, uh, I can move that back. Pretty stiff spring. I think it would launch an airsoft pretty good. So when it when it's pulled back, I think it would let a BB drop and then launch it. But what I'm not sure about, uh, it's got a connector here for the motor. I'm guessing this motor, when it, when it drives, uh, it's just going to hopefully just cycle this back and forth. I'm not sure, or I'm not sure if uh, what role this micro switch has to play, if it just uh, has some sound effect, or if it actually is part of controlling the motor. But I'm gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and apply uh, six volts here. I've got a six volt supply. I'm gonna connect it here. I'm gonna put the positive on the red here. And I'm gonna do it momentarily, so I'm going to uh, disconnect the alligator clip to the positive for now. So I've got both connections made. And so now when I uh, connect these two together, it's gonna to power the, uh, the motor. I'm gonna turn it around this way so you can see what, uh, what might be going on when I power it up. We'll see what happens here. That's pretty cool. That's definitely going to work. It works without this limit switch. I don't. The limit switch must do some sound effects. So now I'm going to drop in a BB right here, so we can see that what's going to happen when I run the power. Oh wow, hey, that went pretty far. I'll do another one here. So it looks like this limit switch is not really uh, um, this connection. It must do a sound effect. But uh, the motor is all that's required. This one's connector is all that's required to make it work. Let's see, Let's see if I can uh, get a range on this thing. Worked pretty good. So from here to the door is about eight feet. I'm gonna drop a BB on there. This thing's pretty cool. And it's basically shooting right at the door here. We'll see if it can hit the door from eight feet. Yeah, you know, it easily does. It's actually was climbing still. Uh, I believe it would go a lot further. So uh, I'm going to do another shot and see how far I can get it to go. So I've changed it. I'm shooting now across the room. I'm going to drop a BB in there. That's about 14 feet to the uh, target, which is the window blind there. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this and see if it can hit that. Yeah, it does hit that. Like it's starting to drop, so I would say uh, the you know the effective range might be uh, fourteen to twelve feet. Anything anything closer, I think, is is pretty much a a straight shot. But this thing's pretty neat. It works pretty good. Again, it's a Hang Long uh, airsoft BB shooter, 
and it's for a our remote control tank or some other kind of vehicle. And it's just something for fun. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.